Welcome. Today's recipe, check-in on the iPad, comes to you from Rob Dobson of River Point Church in Richmond, Texas. Thank you, Rob. Why would you want check-in on the iPad? There's a lot of good reasons. In fact, uh, the reason I like in particular is just the space concerns. When you don't have a lot of space, uh, something as bulky as a kiosk can really cut away at the limited space you already have. So bring in something like an iPad that's just slim and small into the picture makes it just a lot easier to uh, facilitate this. You know, there's also all the, all the different ways you can use it, such as line busting, you know, when the line's too big and you can go cherry pick, um, you know, when you have smaller events, things like that. Let's go ahead and I'll just show you how to, how to get this running. There are pieces of this that are really simple. In fact, getting check-in on this thing, very easy idea. Uh, the printer side is a little bit more complex, so we're going to go over both those things with you right now. First off, I'm going to take you into the App Store. Let's go out there and we're going to do a search for RDP. Now RDP stands for Remote Desktop Protocol, and the point of this is it actually provides a solution that allows you to mirror what's on another computer. We chose WinAdmin, it's $8.99, and once you get that installed, I'll take you out and show you how to set it up. All right, first time you set it up, you don't have anything over on the server side, so we're going to click that little plus button. And I'm going to give my server a title, and specifically one, number one. Now what I'm doing, I'm naming the computer that I'm accessing. Now to find the server address, we're going to right click on our computer, go down to properties, and there you will see the full computer name. And that's what you're going to use letter for letter, type that in as the server address. Now scroll down a little bit under the credential section, you're going to use the username and password that you use to log into your computer. And if you have a domain, enter that domain there. Then just click done and hit the connect button. And just like magic, there's your Windows screen. All right, so now we have this remote monitor that we're carrying around, and we can start check-in. And again, we're running check-in then on this other computer. All right, so now we've got your mobile monitor that's actually getting the signal from your computer. You're doing all the check-in here, but I still have a problem with the printer, right? I'm, I'm printing over there, and that's no good for me. I need, this, I need the stickers here. So you know that printer that you've got in your office where you, you and everybody else, you're sharing a common printer. You send a print request to this thing and then you walk over and you go get it. We are going to take the same idea and do it with this printer right here. We're going to put this printer on the network. And we could do this with a little print server, 25 bucks. All right, so connect that thing to the print server. Now, when I do check in here on my mobile monitor, it actually checks in over there at my PC in the other room, which then sends a print job over here to the printer that is sitting right next to me. And I'm able to tear the stickers off and give them to the person. All right, while that's a really great solution, I know that this opens the doors for some additional solutions. In fact, one that I would love to see, please solve this for us and we can uh, make this recipe in the future, but how do you use this thing on a shuttle bus? How do you get the printer on the shuttle bus with you even? You know, how, how can you make that that additional benefit to the person who is being shuttled from one parking lot to your main campus? There's a lot of churches out there with, with real parking lot issues, and I would love to see a solution to that. If you find a solution to that or anything else, anything else, please send us your information. Send us the, uh, the recipe to recipe at fellowshiptech.com, and we'll make sure to include it in a future episode. Thanks. Enjoy.